My name's Jamie. And I'm from Jersey. I'm here at the Exeter Royal Academy for Deaf Education. And I've been here for six years now. It's been a great time so far. I've had lots of experiences, really enjoyed myself. I've loved the work, I've loved the people I've met, the deaf people, joining different groups. It's been great, meeting different people. I've done English, maths, ICT, so many different things, GCSEs entry levels and higher level courses and I'm continuing to learn to improve my future. The English, the math, the graphic design, um, cookery I've done, food technology, so much. Art of course, I love that, I love art. It's great here. Everybody really pays attention to me and thinks about my needs and education at the Academy. It's really interesting. I love learning here. It's great. Hello, Mr. Forward. I'd like to ask you some questions. The school asked me, it was interesting, they asked me about my learning. Why was that? Well, about two years ago, we realised that some of you, and some, some of your fellow students, were very clever, a gifted and talented group. And we wanted to help you aim higher. I think really we wanted to aim to raise all your achievements and your levels. And that we could do that in different ways. So we asked lots of the older students how they felt about their learning and how the school could change to improve your levels so you could aim higher yourselves. And that's how it all started. Learning at ISCA was hard. It was hard work. The graphic design course was difficult. It really stretched me. I had a lot of catching up to do. The GCSE course was coming up. The exam was coming up soon. And I did have a lot of catch-up work. So it was, it was hard. The English was hard, learning all the new vocabulary. But secondly, mainstream. I'm deaf. I'd never been to ISCA. It was the first time that I'd been to ISCA. So I was encouraged to go in, and I didn't know what it would be like, but I agreed to go. And everybody respected me, they weren't cruel at all, everyone encouraged me, were kind, really respectful. It was the first time I'd been, it was really interesting. I thought it was fantastic. It amazed me, it was great. Okay, shall I start? Hi everyone, it's nice to be here. My name's Jamie. And I want to tell you about where I'm from. I'm from Jersey. So the best things that I like to do, water sports, I love water sports. I'm always in the water. I love surfing, sailing, swimming. And my favorite place in Jersey is the beach. I love that. My presentation was for two reasons. First was to tell them about myself, my interests, the fact that I'm deaf, but I'm normal. I like sports, loads of different things, loads of hobbies. I love surfing, that's my favorite, I love that. Sailing. But secondly, for deaf awareness, because hearing people were really surprised when I asked them true or false questions. For example, I asked them a question and I would explain that it was true. For example, can deaf people drive? That's true, of course. The same as hearing people when they're driving along with the music blasting, they're listening to the radio, they can't hear outside sounds anyway, so it would be just the same as if you're deaf. So yes, you can drive if you're deaf. Okay. So, BSL, 
means British Sign Language. So I'm signing. Am I using an English structure? And the same word order as English? Is that how sign language works? Is sign language English with signs? What do you think? If you think that's true, stick your hand up. My aim for ISCA and for college and all things really is the challenge. I love that, it motivates me, I enjoy the challenge and I want to continue to be challenged in my life and right through my future. It's false. Why? It's a bit difficult but BSL is a signing language, it's completely different to English. So English is a language in its own right and BSL is separate to that. So signing uses facial expressions, body language, all types of things. That's it. Thank you for coming and thanks for watching my presentation. I was, yeah, I was really confident. It was good. It empowered me. I felt good about it. I'm good. It's good I'm deaf. So I went over to Isca, but I was the only person there. I kept coming and going. But then we had hairdressing and we had people from Isca coming to our school and doing hairdressing with us. That was really interesting. I thought that was better. It was fair, really. 50-50. That was fantastic. So this is our hairdressing salon. sign language. Are you learning much here? Um, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, she's um, learnt me how to say um, well done, um, yellow bath towel and fantastic. I don't know. She's been coming to hairdressing no. now and I've taught you yellow towel, fantastic, well done. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, different things like that, different signs I've been teaching her. So first, what does Kaylin have to do? Right, so, right, so first, get his hands wet with the water. Fantastic. <laughs> Okay. So Caleb, the young boy you saw before, we wanted to meet his levels academically. We wanted to challenge him. He was in a class with students of his own age. But in English and maths, they thought it would be better if he aimed higher and was in a group with older students because he was clever and they wanted to stretch him for his future. One. Do you know the word that when you get the soap on your hands and it's all bubbly, do you know that word? No? No? It's lava. Get them together to make a lava. That's when it's all over and it's all bubbly. I wash my hands, I put the tap on, wash my hands, turn the tap off and then put my soap on and I turn the tap on again, wash my hands and then turn the tap off, get a towel. Can I ask you something? Do you remember last year did you like English and maths? You were in different groups, weren't you? Which did you like best? I like maths. I liked maths. You were in with older students as well. Did you prefer with older or younger? I liked older. Why was that? Uh, uh, well, 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 well. 
I was with Julian and with friends. And lots of children that were older. People really like this. And the architects realised what we wanted. We wanted more space. We didn't want small corridors with not enough room. We didn't want square classrooms with no space. It felt restrictive for signing. We needed more freedom. We wanted round rooms so it was easier to move and to sign. We all thought that we wanted to improve the learning environment in our new building. We all wanted that. And here's an idea. This is the model. This room is for sensory spaces, ICT and relaxation. Students can come in here and coordinate the lights. It's really easy to see. We wanted to be able to see clearly for signing, for lip reading. This smells. Mm, smells nice. This vibrates. This design for the pod. Look at this cube and watch the lights. It's really good. I'll show you. There's one and a different one. Last one. So my dreams have always been the same, I want to be a gardener. But also, I've got some other dreams too. I love BSL. I really enjoy that. I really want to achieve my level four in British Sign Language. I'm really excited about that. So for the future, learning sign language, but also with hearing people, it'd be really great if I could adapt that so maybe I could work in a school with hearing people and teach them, teach them sign language. I'd really like that. We'll see what happens.